Zoe's looking forward to tonight. She's a DJ, and her music's going to help a lot of partygoers ring in the new year. But at the same time, her heart is heavy about Leela Alcorn, the transgender teen whose recent death is being investigated as a suicide. It was tragically all too familiar. Zoe's a 30-year-old transgender woman. She's always had the support of her family, but she knows the pressure Leela was feeling. I've been in a dark space, and... It's not easy when people in your own community, when people you expect support from, um, you know, they invalidate your identity. They um, devalue your existence. As a person who has gone through it and a person who has been in that dark space, um, you know, I put, um, it's a war, it, for my case, it was a war against myself. Have you attempted suicide? Once before. Zoe's become an activist for the trans community. She's been fighting for the rights of transgender people to use the public restrooms they identify with. Leela left a note saying that she wants her death to mean something. Zoe says it already does. It's started a discussion that many people were uncomfortable with, um, not only just the act of suicide or the idea of suicide, but the idea of being trans, the idea of affirming your body to your identity. Discussions she hopes will continue long after Leela's death.